If you want to buy notes, then check the link in the comment section and install the app now. Also, at the end of this video, we will see the simulator answer and we will verify our answer by using circuit simulator. Question Find the current in branch AB of the circuit shown in figure using Thevenin's theorem. Here for this circuit, we have to find the value of this current, the current through this branch. That means we have to find the current through this 10 ohm resistance by using Thevenin's theorem. Solution First of all, here we know that the value of RL. Here we can write RL is equal to 10 ohm. Now we need the value of RTH that is Thevenin's resistance and also we need the value of VTH which is the Thevenin's voltage. Then from this we can draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So first of all let's find the value of RTH. So to find to find RTH what we will do we will remove RL remove RL and turn off all independent sources independent sources so here let's remove RL so here this is our RL now this will be removed from here and now this will be our RTH and also we have to turn off all the independent sources so here when we turn off this voltage source that time it will be replaced by a short circuit again when we turn off this voltage source so it will be replaced by a short circuit when we turn off or replace the voltage source that time we have to replace it by short circuit and when we remove or replace a current source that time we have to replace it by open circuit now here we can see this 15 ohm and this 5 ohm are connected in parallel so here we can write 15 ohm parallel with 5 ohm if we solve this we get 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 15 into 5 divided by 15 plus 5 so it is 3.75 3.75 ohm now here we can see this 8 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in parallel so 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm this will be 8 into 8 divided by 8 plus 8 if we solve this we get 4 ohm directly so again we can redraw this circuit let's copy this circuit from here now we can replace these resistance by a single resistance of we can replace 5 ohm and 15 ohm by 3.75 ohm it will be 3.75 ohm and we can replace these two 8 ohm resistance by a single resistance of 4 ohm so let's replace this by 4 ohm it will be of 4 ohm now here we can clearly see this 3.75 ohm is in series with 4 ohm so we can write RTH is equal to 3.75 plus 4 so it will be 7.75 ohm now we got the value of Thevenin's resistance RTH now next step is to find the value of VTH so step number 2 is to find VTH to find VTH what we will do we will remove RL and find VOC is equal to VTH now this VOC is the open circuit voltage at the terminals when all the independent sources this, uh, this VTH is the open circuit voltage simply so let's find the value of VTH so let's remove this RL first now here this will be our VTH this is VTH this is positive this is negative 
now we can easily find the value of vth let's say this is loop number one with current i1 and this is loop number two with current i2 now we have to find voltage across this 5 ohm and voltage across this 8 ohm that means vth is equal to va minus vb now this va is the voltage across this 5 ohm and vb is the voltage across 8 ohm so here the positive terminal of this vth is on this side and negative terminal is on this side so va minus vb is equal to vth so let's find the value of va so to find va we need the value of i1 first so i1 is equal to v upon r so here the value of voltage is 6 volt and the value of resistance is 15 plus 5 15 plus 5 it will be 6 divided by 15 plus 5 it is 0 0.3 ampere so therefore voltage across this 5 ohm will be Va is equal to V5 ohm is equal to 5 into 5 multiplied with 0 0.3 what we have to do we have to multiply I1 with this resistance value then we get the value of voltage voltage value the voltage across this 5 ohm so it will be 5 into 0 0.3 it is 1.5 volt then next similarly we will do this for I2 so first we will find the value of I2 so I2 is equal to V by R so voltage value here is 6 volt and resistance value is 8 plus 8 we have to take total resistance so 8 plus 8 it is equal to 6 divided by 8 plus 8 now it is equal to 0 0.375 ampere also remember that the direction of current is from positive terminal of battery to negative terminal of battery here also from positive to negative this is the direction of current now let's find the value of this VB VB is the voltage across 8 ohm resistance so it will be I2 multiplied with 8 ohm so I2 value is 0 0.375 into 8 so let's multiply it 0 0.375 into 8 it is equal to 3 3 volt now we got the value of VA and we got the value of VB so therefore VTH is equal to VA minus VB VA value is 1.5 minus VB value is 3 so 1.5 minus 3 that is equal to minus 1.5 so minus 1.5 volt is the value of VTH now next we got the value of VTH minus 1.5 volt we also got the value of RTH and we also have the value of RL here we can see we have the value of RL and we have the value of RTH also and we also have the value of VTH so from this we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit so let's draw Thevenin equivalent circuit here this will be our VTH this is VTH this is RTH and this is RL this is terminal A this is terminal B this is RL this is RTH and this is VTH and this circuit is called as Thevenin's Thevenin's equivalent Thevenin's equivalent circuit what is the value of VTH 
it is minus 1.5 volt what is the value of rth rth value is 7.75 ohm 7.75 ohm and what is the value of rl now here we can see the value of rl is 10 ohm now we have to find this current and this current is il the formula to calculate il is il is equal to vth upon rth plus rl the value of vth is minus 1.5 the value of rth is 7.75 and the value of rl is 10 so therefore il is equal to minus 1.5 divided by 7.75 plus 10 so it is equal to minus 0. Point, minus 0. 0.084 minus 0. 0.084 ampere or we can also write il is equal to minus 84.5 minus 84.5 milli ampere because here it is multiplied with 10 to the power minus 3 so we can replace this 10 to the power minus 3 by milli ampere now what we have to find in this problem we have to find the current through this 10 ohm by using Thevenin's theorem now let's verify our answer by using circuit simulator now as we can see this is the circuit simulator and here the current through this 10 ohm is 84.5 milliampere and also we can see the direction of current is from right to left so hence our answer is correct don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching